always the same with you, isn't it? What about the eggs? What about Bugsy's eggs? Get about the damn eggs for a moment. What if instead out there in the world, this large, round world, what if there was something even greater? No more egg on floor like chicken. But what if? What if instead? What if egg in man? But you like eggs, do you? Huh? What do you name every fucking egg then, huh? Name them all! One moment, it's all Yayo's caskets don't work with war combat. Then it's all, oh, yeah, you've probably forgotten to forbid the egg. Name every egg! You can't. No one could. No, no one could. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's Rimworld. Hey, it's Rimworld again. Wow. Bug Rimworld. With your good friend Bugsy and Buggo and all those other people who, honestly, I would like to make into better characters. I feel like a lot of series, we focus on a handful and then the rest kind of fall by the wayside. I mean, it's a bug hive. That's kind of the point. Remember to leave a comment asking me if I've ever heard of or planning on playing Dwarf Fortress. Because that's the, my new favorite thing to read. Non-stop. All the time. I, brother in Christ. What are you doing in there? That's what I thought. You walk away. I want big limbs for big friends, and we're starting on the big limb research. We need biomechanical tissue application, where we combine the best parts of bug and the best parts of machine. We are taking the hive to a whole new modern level, similar to the movies about the alien by that famous Swiss man, Roger Federer. <laughs> this bee is a dragon, and I want this bee to remain a dragon, because I want to steal its dragon parts and give them to Bugsy, so that she is big queen bee dragon moth lady. So... I'm thinking we imprison the bee, because I don't think it makes sense having a colonist who isn't part of the hive mind. I feel like they wouldn't really be into what we've got going on here. Especially because, little pecs, what I plan on getting on here is eggs into your mouth. Mm. For those of you who haven't seen, Alpha Genes has added a brand new gene. Gene that very coincidentally allows horrifying hive-based creatures to lay eggs inside other creatures, similar to, say, a parasitoid wasp. Very coincidentally, only moments after I was complaining about our eggs disappearing. Stro so strange. <laughs> Who could have believed something like that might happen? I thought to myself, yes, we could just add it in with death mode, but no. We are going to earn this because this will be amazing. Our top priority is visiting every single genetics lab out there, and not only that, we also have access to the unstable catastrophic mutation. Every single day, someone's genes will be totally randomized. If we were able to get a big stack of prisoners, and then we take those big stacks of prisoners and fill them up with unstable genes, one day, one of them may mutate exactly what we're looking for. That would save a lot of caravanning, because that might genuinely take another 10 episodes. We had a raid from the Empire. We got a lot of Hussars, and there's a couple of things I want from the Hussars. I want the Bulletproof skin. I want Dutiful. We have Unstoppable in a gene pack, which is why it's yellow, in a gene pack along with Reduced Pain. That's a nice combo. We need two more from these, but unfortunately for the Hussars... We have a lot more Hussars than we need. So I'm gonna rip from one of them, their bulletproof skin. That will make a nice colony defender. And then from another one, I will rip Dutiful that stops them breaking down during combat. And then from a third one, believe it or not, I'm going to take Great Melee. So that when we finally rebuild the ultimate little combat bug, much like we had before who was horribly kidnapped, we've got the best thing to give them. And all of this combined with nanoscale cellular engineering, we are going to be unstoppable. What did we grab there? Adamantium scales? Whoa, what does that do? I, I presume that just gives you almost like stone skin? Uh, requires aurum thirst. Oh no. Whoa, this grants armor values on par with standard recon armor and a substantial heat bonus, but you get hit by EMPs. No one is gonna EMP a bee. Could you imagine? Otherwise it would be called EMP. <laughs> What am I doing with my life? <laughs> God damn, you've got the physique of a gamer. You may not like it, but this is what the peak male physical performance looks like. Why are all their heads on backwards? Why have they got horrifying hunchbacks? So anybody else left over in the prison now? All two of them? What are you? Oh, I don't want anything from you. All two of them can get turned into some randomized gene packs. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a whole other room specifically for our little gene fellas. A loot box room right at the end of the hive where all of our random little loot box people are kept safe, where the unstable genes can't cause too much havoc. Oh! Shit. Well, <laughs> we're just out for a nice trip. Oh, they barely got anywhere. Turn around, come home. I'm sure another one will turn up at some point. Come on, evolve limbs. Make it up to me. Give me a gift. 
Enzyme synthesis? Oh! That sounds good! Unlocks a jelly synthesizer. I don't think I need any more jelly. I think we're- I think we're past the whole jelly thing. I need to stop caravanning out with the lynx's bloody hives keep dying. Oh, Whoa! Bee! You've turned more into a dragon and less like a bee. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. I've had enough of this dragon bee walking around as if they own the place. You're going to prison. Better idea. Hang on, let's release you first. <laughs> Don't worry, Chestnut. We were just joking. Actually, Chestnut, I've changed my mind again. I'm gonna banish you. Uh, and then get imprisoned. Hand over your spine. Oh, it's a bee. Hand over your exoskeleton. Have I genuinely got to break all six of your legs? Oh, dear. Oh, well, this is unfortunate. The, the plan is to give them six peg legs, then remove them. Not to just give them six peg legs. Otherwise, it'll sound like a, an army of Mr. Krabs. Pro skin, great melee. And then I love that occasionally it just spits out nutrient paste meals and human meat. That's so good. There we are. Now for our other little prisoners. Who would like a random gene loot box? Nobody. Oh, that's unfortunate. And one for my good friend Constance as well. The first one's already been implanted, which... Oh. I was about to say I presume might randomize them immediately. Yep, I think it's fairly safe to say. Just what the fuck happened to you? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm playing God too much. Certain. Granny has malformed wing. Beetle horn. Ooh. I like beetle horn. Giants. Uh, slightly larger than baseline humans. Oh, does that stack? Does that stack with ogre frame? She does have ogre frame as well. Oh no! Oh my little boomlo fella, camp your nodes. Digitigrade legs. Ooh, I mean that's kind of kind of bug like, huh? Frog voice, master master psychic. Whoa. Um. Shit. Oh no. What an unfortunate time for you to be alive, my friend. Uh, are his genes- Oh, his genes are regrowing shit. Lethal instability death in two years. You can't do this. You can't do this. Damn it, I'd, I'd have ripped that right away. But I've already extracted two recently. We could gamble it, throw him in the gene extract to see what we get again, but that's- That's fine. It's alright. We'll get more prisoners. We'll get more prisoners eventually. What about you? Oh, you're volunteering as well? Oh, good. Where did the- B go? What? Where did the bee go? Where did the bee go? What? The hell? What? How did you escape? Wait, what? Oh, I just watched it back and the bee just straight up disappears. Just straight up disappeared. Where did you go, bee? Chest? What the hell happened there? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I better got anything from the bee. Yes, good. Look at the size of your antlers. Perfect, artistic is cool. Tree reproduction. They plant a seed of life that grows into a tree of life, and a male can pollinate the tree. Interesting. Wowee. Antlers, whip tail. That's nice. Anything? Come on. Violence. Oh, violence disabled. High mining yield is cool. That's a great idea. 20% bonus from whenever you mine. Okay. And then our legua right now enhanced mecha sensitivity. Whoa. Severe heat retention, toxic resistance. Still not what I'm looking for. To be honest, though. I don't really know what I'm looking for. You've made a better bug than I ever have randomly. What was that? Caterpillar tail. Oh, I kind of want it. Ah, uh, is it worth throwing away one of our loot boxes to get a caterpillar tail? Oh, so it... Right, so they mutate not at a set time, but depending on when you first installed the gene. I mean, look, I promise I'm not going to make the whole episode just me... What the hell is an insectoid honeypot? Just me examining these people. Carries of this gene's grow a new insectoid abdomen where their new organs grow. Oh... For Bugsy. Tetra coils. Passive regenerator. Carriers of this gene constantly release an invisible cloud of specialized mechanoids that periodically tend to the wounds of nearby people and animals. Holy shit. For a queen, that would make a lot of sense. What have you got? Rubbish. Shit. Get out of here. And like you are? Phoenix tail. We community. Oh, you're not doing <laughs> you're not doing too well. Oh man. The impossible skills as well give plus eight metabolic efficiency. Not I don't want impossible melee. But impossible- Whoa, look at you! How is the, uh, the- the random genes making better bugs than I ever could? They look amazing! What we need is some more of that awful shit to give Bugsy as much complexity as possible. I mean, even a regular bit, right? Giving everybody, uh, like, impossible artistic. I wouldn't care about that at all. We can always get more people. We can always get more people! Give him the rip! Give me that insect ass. I want that. My impression of the Discord for the past two weeks. <laughs> what does it even look like? Does it even look good? I still can't see. Oh, I might have wasted one of our people. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh, God. I had a mouthful of tea. Hello? Biotech lab on Herb, do you say? Oh. Oh, it's miles away. 2.6 days. Oh, do it for Bugsy. Okay, don't send links. Learn learn your lesson. Let's send, um... What does Martin do? Martin's a really good research up. Let's send Martin. Actually, do we... I'm going to send Batista. I'm going to send Batista because we don't need any mining materials right now. I think we're pretty good on the economy front. And if I want to craft something, well, that's that's tomorrow's problem. Let's send you all the insect friends. And yeah, no, in hindsight, I think we'll manage fine with 1,000 gold, 5,000 steel, and 5,000 plastic, more or less. It's because Bugsy and Batista are both so insanely good at mining. They're both so damn good. Are you engineering supplier? Grandmother haberdashery, holy shit. Uh, Gage's jeans just finished regrowing there too, one of our vampires. Bugsy, it's time to finally give someone a call. I think this is the first time ever. Wait, which is a bioengineering supplier? Oh, what on earth are you? Look, Hulk. Genetically derived from the Guardians, these large multi-egged Hulk sports heavy armored exoskeletons. Oh, I would like that. How much are you? Um, there's also a ripper. Holy crap. Um, I definitely want to take you. You're also a rideable animal. Fine. Oh, shit. Bioengineering incubator. And the jelly synthesizer. Oh, I didn't realize you could buy them from traders. Okay, in hindsight, let's just buy some jeans then. Let's go for some... We've got Kwama jeans? Oh. Um. Let's take some of the Black Hive stuff. I want to experiment with that a little bit. I'm sure we're about to uh, get all of this stuff for ourselves anyway, right? It's the whole point of this whole new lab that we're building is to be able to to build our own genetic implants like that and, and do what we did with Bugsy all those years ago. Ah, oh, simpler times. You remember that? When she gained an insect brain and then everything changed. Oh, Bugsy, I'm going to turn you into quite the sidecaster one day, I promise. The second we get an next raid, we load them up with the random genes. Presuming they haven't got any germline genes, that is. And then we'll just go butt wild on... Trying to transform Bugsy into the ultimate sidecaster. That would be so good, though, wouldn't it? Oh my god, this might be the first time we've had a transport pod crash. Bear in mind, we were playing on Empress Evil originally. McGee! It's McGee! Oh no! <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, Wowee! Brilliant. Uh, a complete blank slate to transform. I predicted it would be from the bloody Patreon faction. Appreciate that. As far as I'm concerned, that's not a problem. That's just more meat for the grinder. Better reassemble Tits McGee's jeans. Brilliant, Martin. Less than an hour to create. Ooh! Ah, oh, right. I was about to say Insectoid Honeypot sounds good. Well, of course. It's almost like I queued it up or something. Only takes an hour to create a Xeno gene that will completely scramble them for the rest of their lives. Martin, do it for the hive, for God's sake. Order implantation in Tits McGee. And. Ooh! God, I thought we broke in the game then. What did you get? Draconic horns, elephant nose, whip tail. Super size sensitive again. Oh, man. I'd really like it. But I, I, I think we need as many loot box characters as we can for now. Unless it's really, really good or very insectoid themed. Bulletproof skin for Bugsy. Fertile for Bugsy. Oh, I have to do it. You know I have to do it. 175%? I, I don't care. She deserves it. We've got plenty of food anyway. With all those all those toxic potatoes, you'll be fine. And bug ass. Oh, Oh, shit, not again. Okay, don't panic. Site reload, everything's fine. Rimworld famously has a very good graphics renderer. Ooh, I completely forgot about you. My god, you're enormous. <laughs> wow, it's like a regular mega spider, but absolutely massive. Holy shit. Well, I mean, let's get you fully trained, of course. And then let's also see if I can install anything new into you. Of course, affected by the pollution stimulants. Oh, my god. Its front leg can take the mutagens. No. We have the technology. We can rebuild him. Yes. Stronger. Ginormous Greg and the Hulk is an amazing combination. I think we'll just keep your name as the Hulk. Throw me some fancy egg layers. Batista, don't come home until you've found it. Well, I won't say that. You might be gone for a long time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, what's that? Ooh. Grey goo skin plus... Tar like blood. Whoa. Why does that count as having uh, an archite? Well, those are, those are both archite, maybe? There's blood impedes movement. What about the other one? Grey goose skin. Oh, shit. As in, like, uh, multiply, multiply, multiplicating nano machines. It's not the right word for it. Characters of this gene have archites which replace the skin, making it soft and unpleasant to look at and touch. However, due to such changes, they absorb almost all incoming damage. People find them very unattractive, but my god, 30 times on the 
Well, times 30% on the incoming damage multiplier. That's enormous. Holy shit. I mean, it's not what we we're after, but fine. What have we got here? Speechless, frostbite, vulnerability, cold speed. Not too massive on that one. Uh, Hulk body. Not too massive on that one. Radiac ears plus. Repulsive. Great. A Xenogenifier. Oh, is that it? Oh, no. Well, you know what? Honestly, I'm fine with that. Dominion of Eternity have tried to stop us. Oh, you should have sent more people. Oh, Theoli. Embrace a I think that might be everything. Not bad. Honestly, that Grey Goose skin sounds absolutely nuts. Not very appropriate for this series, but insane for if you want to do another machine-based one. When I do another machine-based oh, let's be honest. Oh, <laughs> when it happens, not if it happens. Look at the beetle horn. Is it good enough to try and rip? Man, it's like all just different cosmetics. I suppose we do have a lot of cosmetic mods, don't we? What about you? Blood vomit. Holy shit. The mantis wings are fun as well. Psychic UV sensitivity. Whoa. They've increased size sensitivity when they're in sunlight. Obviously a bit pointless for bugs, but that's interesting. <laughs> oh, McGee. Tits McGee, what happened? Oh, no. Don't say exoskin. Ugly to all non-insects. Of course I know him. He's me. Antenna. Impossible melee. It's not what we're after, but I do think there might be an impossible gene for everything in that case. Mantis abdomen. We've got a better abdomen. Oh, I do I want the exoskin? I think I really do. Oh, it's so good, though. And it's like real, a real bug moment, isn't it? I'm sorry, Tits McGee. This may be the end of you. Oh, six hours. Shit. Well, let's hope they don't mutate again before that's over. Okay, this is what I was trying to save the bodies for. Build machines capable of synthesizing enzymes from genetic material. Scientist cabinet, that's quite nice. So in theory... Yeah, there we go. So we've got a lot of bug corpses in the freezer. I think we should be able to do something with that now. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, that thing's enormous. Okay, well, let's throw down one of them there and see what we can do with it. Finally get rid of all these goddamn bug corpses in the freezer. Bogo, come on. Oops. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't think we're qualified to be installing it like that. Zonlob, could you uh, could you fix that for me? Silly me. Um, what have we got then? Current setting. Oh, it just turns out jelly. Oh my god, that's so good. You're loading genomes and it just makes jelly for you out of the genetic material. Oh, sweet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the royal jelly is what you feed to people to turn them into mega spiders. So something else to do. Maybe when we're done, maybe when we found all the genomes that we want. Sorry, all of the uh, all of the genes that we want. The parasitoid stinger. That could be a good way to convert them into something useful. Don't know bills in the genetics laboratory either. We're going to need a lot more work. <gasps> That's not it. Oh, I thought that was it then. Carriers of this gene will reproduce oviparously, which is disgust as disgusting as it sounds in your opinion. Whoa, hold on a second. Oh, can be eaten by predators or hungry, hungry colonists. <laughs> it's a cooler looking egg than the other one though, isn't it? But much more insectoid. You've also got exoskin. Um... Okay, you know what? Legua Prawn, you've been here for a long time. I'm going to free you. Presumably I can rip your genes. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, no. 9.2 days. Fine. What about you? 1.7 hours. Okay. Tits McGee, you're going in the bin. Even that exoskeleton. Extracting exoskeleton from McGee will kill them. That's fine. Means I don't have to try and say that name anymore. Bugsy's up. Bugsy. How do you look? Uh, genuinely no difference, but that could be because of the enormous prestige robe. Uh, you actually don't look any different at all. I think the enormous Hulk body might be replacing... Hold on. This one's for you, Art Channel. Yeah, I don't think it did a damn thing. That's unfortunate. I, I Again, I imagine because she's an enormous ogre body, it's kind of hidden away down there. I mean, on the plus side, she is bulletproof now, so that, that seems like a nice game. Oh, a gift! The Axe Company, 44 loot boxes. Oh, 44 of them. This might be a problem. Hello! How you all doing? They are inside the wall, so they might just go smash the stuff immediately, then come around. That might be a problem. Hello. Are you all just baseliner? A lot of them are. I see a couple of hussars in there. A couple of uh, wasters, too. Baseliner. Oh, this is good. This is good. No, I want to look at the oh, look at the people. Baseliner. Baseliner. <gasps> Loot box central. Oh, I should have built more. I should have built more beds in the prison. Oh, we've got a lot of beds in the prison. I should have built more, though. That's Batista. Oh, shit. I will admit, I'm not ultimately that confident about fighting 44 people with 6 people. Um, I'm sure we'll manage. Everything will be fine. We've got the pollution stimulus now, at least. Look, some are pissing around. Some of them are going to go smash the hedge. That's good. Hopefully, some of them will get distracted punching the toxifier generators. We've got the resources to be rebuild it. So, honestly, that's a, that's a fair trade as far as I'm concerned. Are you guys upset about the pollution? Do you get sick or something? When they're a little closer, we'll start flooding the place with... Oh, Buggo, don't go through there. Actually, no, Buggo, you can go in there. When they're a little closer, we'll start flooding the place with 
toxins. Oh look, they're all getting they're all getting a bit confused. They're going for the Kwama? Oh, okay, Bogo, maybe get out of there. I don't I don't want you getting clapped by the Kwama. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Start taking this in prison. Somebody said you could put down a butcher spot and then shoot that. And that counts. Oh, I guess I'll just try animal sleeping spot. That'll do. Uh here. Try that. And oh, big brain. Big brain person in the comments. Genius suggestion. Well, I could have put it closer to the entrance in hindsight, I admit. Yes. Come into the hive, Riley. Full admit, I'm still not super confident. Uh, okay. Stand down. Get ready to fire. Kill. Kill him now. Oh, shit. Well, there's, there's a prisoner. That's a prisoner. That's a free prisoner right there. Go, fire. Oh, pathetic. Okay, okay. That's another one down. They are affected by that. Oh, my heater. Why are we building heaters out there? <laughs> <laughs> a bit of global warming. That'll teach them. Oh, so the toxic gas is already getting too severe before they've walked in, and the toxic buildup is kicking in. Shit. If we expanded this round another layer, could we fill it with so much toxic gas that they get, they're unconscious before they even get to the base? That's an exploit. But my god, do it for Bugsy. Oh, that is presuming we survive. Don't get too ahead of yourself. If we do something like that... Oh. Oh, this could be amazing. Let's build up initial. It will take a long time for it to get to the point where they will... Well, they're fallen unconscious. The Kwama are threatened. We expected this. They're going to fight the Kwama. That's going to contribute to them surrendering sooner. Oh, Zolob, why every time? Please. Okay. Okay, flip to the scythe. Kill. Nice. Oh, no. Don't shoot the one there. What's wrong with... Wow, we got really lucky with those rocket launchers. Oh, man. Actually, this is working fine. You know, I was a little... Oh. I was a little bit concerned, but we're doing we're doing more than okay. It's whether or not we can actually take any bloody prisoners at this rate. There might be a bigger problem. I'm an S calm. No! You're supposed to be angry. Well they they are Yeah, no, that will probably do it. That would probably upset the Kwama. Genuinely sent half their people to go fight the Kwama instead of us. <laughs> Amazing like. If we could get a prisoner. Nope. Nope, try again. Our weapons are too good. Our weapons are absolutely too good. Oh shit. They might die of toxic buildup. Ugh. Okay, well, that's a new concern. I never expected that to hit in so hard. Okay, so change of pace then. Bogo needs to come down and start getting ready to grab them. We should just put... I No, I am opening up the, the mountain a bit more to make our people a easier to get through it. I think we put a pathway coming from this nest into the prison. I think we have to do it. And then Bogo can just dash out there mid-combat and... Oh, shit. Gather them up for us. We didn't get a single frigging prisoner. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Capture. And Bugsy, capture Tim Tim. Who else we got? Hey, come out here. Right here. Bugsy cuts us a shortcut through the mountain. And we just go right into the prison. Then if we can get any more stragglers on the way out, absolutely fine with it. Bugsy, 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 go. Put that 1,200 mining speed to good use. Holy shit, Martin. You might as well bring that prisoner over here, fella. Yes. Holy shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Take some legs. Come on, surrender. Surrender, I need some loot boxes, please. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, I don't care if you're unwaveringly loyal. Amazing work. We didn't get that many, because again, the guns are very, very powerful. We got one, two, three, four. And then I think the fifth is coming in here. I presume we're able to tend to them in time. Oh my god, and a wanderer too. Oh, you don't know what you're doing here. A drudgery worker named Alta. Alta. The fuck? Alta? Oh, why are you so enormous, Alta? Half Jotun? You know, beaver, half Jotun. My mother was a wasp, my father was a giant. That's amazing. Unfortunately, the colony cannot allow... Oh, my God, and you've got germline genes. That's really annoying. Oh, mild cell instability. Ah, okay. I thought that might be similar to the other thing that we've got that gives them random mutations. No, this just means that unfortunately they get cancer, which is far more tragic. Well, I think you know the draw by now. Let's throw together some more prison bug packs. Also, I'm afraid we cannot have two large colonists in, in this colony. It doesn't happen. You're going to get banished and you are going to get arrested. Hopefully you won't disappear like the other one. And you know what? We'll just give you the random genes as well. We can still specifically pick one to rip if we find one that we like, right? I'm going to try conversion ritual on a completely random person just to try and get the development points. If this works, we should be able to reform the idea legend. And then we can get a lot more flexible with things. Then it can be Bugsy supremacy rather than just generic shit. Rather than just generic insects. Damn it. It was worth a go. But like a nice leader speech. Go on, Bugger. Bring it back. Come on. 
Come on. Yes. Oh, reform ideology. It has taken three days to get here, but I'm so happy. Let's give it a go. Oh, I changed the I changed the hive symbol to be the same as uh it's basically just for the old map, right? To be the same as the idea legend. But in hindsight, now I can't tell them apart. Let's go for a reformation. I'm alright to keep insectoid supremacy as long as I can remove. Is it possible to remove the precept where they get upset if we kill bug? Probably not, but I can give it a go. We could go God Emperor. But I feel like I've done God Emperor a lot, but that's also the closest thing we've got to having a queen, right? Although biological reconstructors, defilers, and corruptors also seem very appropriate. Hear me out here. What if we go cannibal? We stop revering insects specifically, and we become insects. Then we eat people. We don't care about death. Morbidity is not a problem because we're a bloody hive mind. We're using the people to our own... I think, I think we remove insectoid supremacy. Oh, but we lose the insectoid herder if I do that. Oh, but I don't care about killing insects. Ah, just give me cannibal. Just give me cannibal. We should say apostasy is horrible because we are a hive mind. Anybody who doesn't believe in the hive mind should be not liked inside this colony. They will hate everybody else. We will hate them. Oh, now we can add this into preferred xenotype strictness. We need a partial match. We need at least some of the xenotype aspects to be the same. The bug blood, the bug skin, the antenna, whatever that happens to be. That'll keep everybody happy. That will see them all as being the same hive. That one was super important. Reputation is lowered because we're horrible little bugs. And then we've got the mining yield from being underground. It's that type of thing. They don't care about spore spaces. Can we say we don't care about corpses? Because I don't think they would care about corpses. They're just a means to an end at this point, right? Death. Trouble. It should be, like, upsetting for our people, but we shouldn't care about death in general. So I think the corpses is fine on that one. Everything else is absolutely okay. And then preferred xenotypes, I want to add our cream bug into that, if we can. Oh, you're going to make me use the xenotype editor. Oh, God. Oh, don't crash, please don't crash. Load pre-made. No, load custom, please don't crash. There we are. So if we, we say if they've got either insect blood, formic antennae, pale yellow skin, or pheromones, they are, as far as we're concerned... Cream bug. Honestly, the pheromones alone would do it because that's kind of makes sense for pheromones, right? So we add xenotype and then we say cream bug. Perfect. So in theory, that should be all there is to it. I hope it works. Done. Reformed. All preferred xenotypes. It worked perfectly. They're not upset about the fact that Bugsy is slightly different because she's close enough. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy that's worked because that was one of the biggest problems we had trying to design a hive. So now we can go all in on making the different types of genomes. We can go for the warriors. We can go for, say, plant specialists, research specialists, which I think we probably should do. This is perfect. It's opened it right, right up for us. I can't believe it's not base game. Oh, my God. And the cherry on the cake. Little baby Bugsy is soon to be born. And then when the little ones hatch, that's when we can implant a specific germline into them, make them into a special class, depending on, say, whatever traits they get, depending on how that works. Presumably what's just like the base game, whether they're a, they're a blank slate. This is where a little insectoid engineering, you stay out of that goddamn room. A little bit of insectoid engineering. Uh, no! And we're good as new. Please, 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 please. I need to get a locks mod. Hulk. Go away. I'll be wait. Let's grab ourselves one or two spines from our prisoners just to stop them running away. Ooh, what have you got? You're already different. There's some sort of... Oh! You've already got Master Psychic by default. Okay, I'm going to take your spine, but I'm not going to transmute you. We're just going to rip that. Still nothing. We still haven't got the fancy egg injector. Uh, Anne Ray's completely broken. Completely, completely broken. So she's been through the cycle maybe one too many times. <laughs> How is that a gene? How does this gene grow up? A hair on the on the head is a bit weird. Sorry. Three, two, oh, well, we're down in seconds now. And oh, <laughs> I wasn't really expecting a giant-headed baby. Whoa! And you do gain. Okay, so the oh, of course because they're all xenogenes, aren't they? So you inherited nothing. You inherited nothing, just whatever came from Bugsy and Bogo. It does seem a bit silly that it's saying that you are a cream queen xenotype when you're you're not. You, you just have the basic stuff. Whoa. Little baby newborn. There you go. Now I suppose we'll have to throw down a growth vat. Because we can't just raise a baby from scratch. That'll take forever. And then we can just give them the xenotype, depending on what skills we want to give them. And hopefully that will solve any education-related woes. Well, you know what we've got to do? We've got to convert you over to the right genome. Here. Sting the baby. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> is this the new future for the colony I had in mind? No, not really. An enormous baby-headed moth. 
Well, it's not really the way forward yet. But now that we've fixed the ideology and stuff, the world's our oyster. I'm totally open to suggestions for the future of the colony. For little for little baby colonists that will be popping up hopefully more frequently. As soon as we get, and I mean the chance of getting it probably isn't insignificant. There's something like 300 genes in this mod pack. It seems like a lot. But when we've got a lot of people cycling through 10 genes a day... I don't think it'll take that long, to be honest. Just have to keep paying attention to it and hope I don't miss it. So, we're doomed. Thank you for joining me. Give me any suggestions. I I'm completely open to it. If we should go with growth rats, if we should prepare those separate germlines ahead of time. I'm not entirely sure what the best way to go about it. We can't really make a, a perfect insectoid child, can we? They're not just going to hatch and then go to work, unfortunately. But if there is a gene or something that can do that, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, as always, of course, to the patrons for allowing this series to exist in the first place. For giving me a chance to try and resolve all this real-life stuff, as I did mid-episode today. Hopefully you didn't even notice. Thank you to Rambler Uno, Alex Dimitri, Fancy Singularity, Chris, Will, Feather Blacker, Lyndon the Dragon, Warseeker 999, Nine four somebody zero the person heathen jam plague mighty couscous athon nirvana kingsman harpio grant the hero conrad magzinski luna the white fox god velocity vladislav lazarov v frostbane jeebus crust grim dell sisere boulder of the hammer and good doggo for their support over at the executive producer tiers on patreon thank you for making the series possible thank you for keeping the channel going new series coming soon basically it's as soon as i find time to commit to a full series i don't like to do a few episodes and then kind of cut it off early if things get a bit busy so bear with me on that one thank you as well to why are you all doing this thank you as well to suka cupacumba matt man red noah turkey fang swiftwing max soplo zep zep lumbering garb Jacob Fredsa, Rave Pirate, Radsha Rashad810, Max Hadfield, Buggy, Generally Mean, Adrix, Elvin Sheely, Coop, Carpsy, Dear Muid, Told Waldo, Cameron Hughes, Cheshire, Luna Meyer, Maximus555, Daggett, Thomas Holt, Patman, The Man Pat, Halo Lover, and shout out this name if you are a loser dingus. Thank you for your unbridled support as always.